Hey guys, we're back today on a 2006 Ford Explorer. What we're doing today is we're replacing these front struts, and um, it's really a very straightforward process here. So we have a 24 millimeter bolt right here. We have to get out three 13 millimeters on the top, and then um, we may or may not have to disconnect our upper control arm here, and um, possibly our sway bar end link. Um, it's disconnected on the other side, so we'll see if that'll give us enough play to drop this down and get everything out. So, without further ado, let's get started. Get our big nut down here. There's a flag nut on the other side, so I don't have to worry about it spinning, which is nice. that loose we just can use the little impact get it the rest of the way out there's our flag nut that falls out of the one side that guy falls out of there now this will be the telltale sign I think we're gonna undo this top bolt next um, just to take our control arm off, that's going to be 18 on this. This one's not factory. It's been replaced before. And just gonna use our sludge to there we go. Get it to pop out there. Oh, it looks like with that sway bar disconnect on the other side and this guy undone, we should have plenty of room. We got three bolts up here. So the one you can actually see sticking up is the the strut, uh, the actual hold it all together. But we got a couple of little retainer guys up here. The wiring harness for the wheels, speed, whatever. Our pry bar. So we have two on this side. We got one, two, and then we have one on this other side here. Now, looks like I got a retainer right there too. Now the nice thing about this one is, let me just take you along. Where is it? Right down there, you can see there's a couple of bolts, you can see the top of the strut. We should be able to access, looks like on this side, all of them through the top to where before, to where before, as in one bolt on the other side, and on the back, we had to do them all from here with our um, just 30 millimeter wrench, just rah, 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 which is hard. So I'm gonna leave you guys right here. I'm gonna go to the top and we're gonna zip those out.
right, so we got our three 13s at the top removed. We've got our big 24 at the bottom removed. We've got our 18 off our upper control arm removed and big control arm removed from the knuckle. So let's pull this down and wiggle it out. There we go. We got it out. And here you can see more clearly the three bolts. The one, two, and the three. Now let's remove this guy, 17, and then, oh heck, I forget what fits on the top. I'll figure that out here in just a minute. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to use the spring compressors to compress this spring, take off the top mount, and put the new strut in. So, let's see. The biggest, the biggest thing is you want to make sure they're, they're perpendicular, they're straight. And I'm just lining them up with uh, the, the spring here. Just make them as vertical as possible. Found I did the other side. Unlike the rear, these springs, they have, they have to compress a ton in order to uh, get them off. So the more spring purchase that you can get on here, the better. See, I don't know if that's going to be enough spring purchase, to be honest with you guys. We got full on the other side, but not quite over here. I'll tell you what, we're just gonna wind it down and try. Without further ado, let's get these springs compressed and everything swapped out. Might be pretty good. It's that we'll throw in this top guy. So, as you can see, we were compressed, but then it did pop up a little bit. So, we will need to compress these springs just a bit more. No big deal. Let's take this old strut out. Strut in. All the rubber guys swap over. Yeah. 
press this side here a little bit more. Ooh, wrong way. All right, guys. We're back here reassembling our spring. Got the spring compressors all the way, all the way down, if you will. Um, just want to make sure everything's lined up the way it needs to be. And it's time to put our top bolt on. I already got it on a couple threads. I'm not going to lie to you. This thing's hard. And it will fight you. that on it's into the lock nut <laughs> comparing this to the factory shock that was on there the threads are a little bit the factory one's a little bit longer so it sticks out further so no need to worry there now it's time to reassemble we just need to take our spring compressors off and um, get this thing reassembled let's see here this have enough beans to get these off. I'm gonna have to do it by hand. And I'll tell you what, I need a bigger impact. This whole time was manual doing it all. <clears throat> all right, so we've got one. Let's pinch it up here in the rubber. One's completely off. Fabulous. Get this one out of the rubber here. A little hammer go. There we go. Just a little motivation. All right, guys, now that we got that strut reassembled, now it's time to put everything back in the car here. So, <clears throat> get everything going. Yeah. No, go down first. screws go on the top. So let's actually just get these guys. Up and in. Remember this. I'm just putting these on finger tight where I can. And remember we go to the top and you tighten them down. See that whole thing move? Just get sucked right back up into place.
Now I've got a couple things to do to finish up this project. So we need to put this bolt back in. Notice I got was off just a hair. Line it up. So just put your pry bar in there and twist where it needs to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get just a little jack. I'm going to be putting it underneath. Underneath, it's going to help lift this whole assembly up so I don't have to muscle it all into place. Put our bolt back in here and we can reconnect our top piece. Actually. one under the arm, not on the ball joint, because ball joint's gonna move all this around. pry bar comes into play because this is going to be really tight down in here just to get that hole in the right spot so like right now the struts out towards me a little bit just needs to be pushed in Now don't forget, don't forget to get your flag nut in this other side. need to re reassemble this guy. Just reassembling our upper control arm here. That was 17 or 18, sorry.
everything's fighting me on this side. So this guy all wants to spin in the housing there. So what we do, get our ratcheting wrench on it. And add the flat on the bottom for an eight millimeter. Once we got that tightened up, now we just need to make sure we go down below here and get our final torque. We do want to make sure that there's weight on the suspension. on the suspension. out of the way and there you are guys I successfully replaced the strut in a 2006 Ford Explorer now let me be completely honest with you all on this job if you have a choice of just buying just the strut and you have a decent mechanical ability and some spring compressors get that spring off great um, if you're luckier than I am it won't fight you the entire time if by chance that's not an option for you, go ahead and buy the, what they call a quick strut or strut assembly where it has the strut and the spring and the upper mount. Everything is 
all brand new, all in one. And um, much easier. You don't have to go through the compression of the spring. It's just pull the old one out, put the new one in. Now, one other thing on this job that you didn't see, and I have another video showing you how to install one, is your sway bar end links, which are right there, those guys. So the one on the other side had broke, thus making this side to be able to drop down far enough. Now, with that being said, if the other one was there, you wouldn't be able to drop this bottom arm down far enough in order to get this out. So um, just uh, look for that other video, it shows you how to reinstall that. If you have to take that off, most likely it's gonna be rusted up into place. Yeah, right there. Most likely it's gonna be rusted up into place and there's no way you're getting it off without breaking the bolt. So anyway guys, like always, if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.